A players like to be held accountable. B players don't like to be held accountable. So why is that? Let's discuss. First of all, let's talk about B players. Why don't they like to be held accountable? Well, first of all, um, they're not committed to their targets. In fact, in many cases, B players don't even like having targets. So the last thing that they want is to be held, is to be brought up on the carpet for uh, reporting on something that they're not committed to. Let's talk about A players. Why do they like to be held accountable? Well, I think there are two reasons. First of all, accountability simply enhances the chances of success up and down the organization, not just for any individual, but for, for everybody. But I think there's another reason. Tech members enjoy being held accountable because they love coming back a week later and telling their group uh, what they achieved. They said they were going to do it, and they did it. Uh, that's gratifying. That's an ego stroke. In my tech group, uh, my members are held accountable in monthly one-to-ones that I have with each of them for a two-hour uh, confidential session, uh, again, every month. Uh, and also at their monthly meetings, they make commitments to their fellow members, and, uh, and they're asked to report back on that. If you enjoy being held accountable, perhaps you might be a great candidate for a, for a tech group. So if you're considering tech for your own personal development, um, ask yourself that question. Do you enjoy being held accountable? If the answer is yes, you may be a great candidate. So if that's the case, give me a call.